Hello friends, I'm Grey and this is My Anatomy and you're back with Project Hospital and Dr. Uncle Colonel Failure's Hospital to the Stars of the Hollywood Clinic Variety. Um, in the last episode we uh, we bought this bulldozer uh, which is currently parked outside. I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. What is, what's, your, uh, what's your caper there, El Bidio? No? No, nothing to report? Okay, well, fair enough. Um, and uh, what's going on here? Uh, yo, um, who's this? It's Tiffany Hoover back. Tiffany, get down here and mop up this blood, would you? Um, it could contain, I don't know, Ebola, maybe? Or any number of other uh, delightful tropical illnesses um, that, that one would not, uh, would not wish to encounter. I suspect this is the, the, last, uh, the, the, the last patient that came in from, uh, from the bulldozer uh, that, uh, that has dis deposited... Uh, these likely items on the floor here um but uh, but even so tiff just come on you know some situational awareness wouldn't go amiss around now um yeah i mean you're being very thorough and that's a that's a good thing uh, yeah, make sure you do that one that's already clean that's that's vitally important no, she's, she's going on a break. No, oh no, she's not. She's going to mop the doctor's room. Anyway, uh, stick around. Uh, we've got lots to be getting on with, and uh, we ought to probably get on with it. No, there's Tiff. Look, she's, uh, she's decided that this is a, a perfectly suitable time to have a snack. Uh, it doesn't really matter that the, uh, the floor is contagious. Uh, I mean, this is the kind of thing that leads to Gwyneth Paltrow having a uh, having a moment, and then uh, and then getting a, a head cut open with a with a bandsaw. Um, that's a that's a reference to the film Contagion. I'm not being unnecessarily grim. Um, right? Okay. Well, uh, I, I can't I can't not watch. I have to watch these two idiots not cleaning the right bit of floor. This is Big Rod McGurk. Uh, one would hope. Uh, that he would, uh, he would be a little bit more, you know, Johnny on the spot. No, he wants a drink, look. No, no good stuff. Good. We're clearing blood over here, Rod. Uh, I don't know how big you are, um, but uh, there's some, there's some, no, where, where are you going now? You're going to go mop in the lab. He's just, he's just standing there mysteriously. Uh, anyway, I'm going to, I watched blood splatter never, um, cleans itself or something uh right who's on the table at the moment we've got a, a penetrated spleen rupture oh my giddy aunt uh okay you've got a severe abdominal injury you're hemorrhaging 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 it's a word you pronounce it something like that but for some reason every time i, I get the word out there it, it just sounds wrong abdominal guarding open wound and uh hypovolemic shock I think she's been stabbed. Um, perhaps we ought to sort her out. Uh, she's waiting for a bed. I've got some beds. Look, there's, here's one now. Look, there's three. Got some beds there. What have we got over here? None. Oh. Um, now, someone in the comments, I forget who it is, because, I mean, well, that's hardly news, is it? Uh, I wrote it, no, it's still there. Um, I routinely uh, forget who's uh, who suggested something, but someone suggested that uh, in the same way as I've got a shared nurse suite here and a shared doctor's office going on and all of this kind of business, a shared ward um, might, be, uh, might be beneficial uh, because it means that uh, then it's just one big long room such as this big long room here we could we could run the stretch of that uh, that side of the the hospital and turn that all into uh, into one big ward uh, mary williams uh, has been waiting for trauma trauma center hospitalization uh, she's still waiting that's karen thomas no idea who mary is uh, but presumably she's uh, she's not doing that well i wonder if she's out on this stretcher we yes there we go she's out on the <laughs> She's out on the stretcher, bleeding to death in the car park. Um, perfect. Good. Yeah. Okay. Right. Well, we need to do something about that. I've only got 11 grand left, so I'm not going to be expanding by a lot. Um, I see you. Uh, oh, actually, I could uh, I could send her somewhere else. Where can I send you? Can I, have I got room in ICU at the moment? Uh, yes. Right. Send them to ICU. That's that's something someone recommended. 
Go, ICU, do it now. We should have a nurse uh, whistling uh, their way along the corridor. Do it. No, no, ICU, do it now. Do it now. Let's go. Come on, I've got a spare bed in there. Just get a nurse, get a trolley, and uh, action stations. Move like you've got a purpose, people. I want to see some sprinting. Uh, she wants high dependency. We don't have that. Oh, that's not available right now. No, you've gone on break. I don't... Whatever, where are you going? Tell me you're getting a trolley. No, you're, 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 you're getting a Snickers. Okay. Good. How about you guys? Guys, uh, how do you feel about uh, maybe... Maybe whizzing up one of these uh, one of these trolleys here, and uh, and going and getting this uh, this casualty out of uh, a room where she's being largely left unattended. No, maybe not. No, how about you? Where where are you going? Get the trolley. No, you've gone to carry on playing uh, World of Warships. Um, all right, fine. I guess there's not a lot I can do about that then. Uh, we don't, we're just going to have to wait until she dies or moves on to another hospital for the time being. Uh, bed shortage. That's the uh, that's the story of the day. I could take the, I could take the sofa out for the time being and the telly, and uh, and and just cram another bed in here. But I don't want to do that. It's all right. I'm not I'm not going to force you to do it. Well, that's fortunate because I don't want to do it. Um, no. Right. Anyway, let's uh, let's turn our attention to something a little more practical. Uh, we do need more room in high dependency, um, but I don't have room in there now. I possibly spoke of uh, of doing something in terms of of moving things around last time around, but I'm at a bit of a loss to recall exactly what I intended beyond just buying more beds. Um, yeah. What are we actually What are we actually missing at the moment? Uh, Room-wise, uh, emergency department all looks good. We've still got a scanner that we're short on. Uh, we haven't got a CAG room, uh, which I which I assume is uh, is is somewhat important. Uh, all of my scanning equipment is offline at night. That's not helpful if you happen to get stabbed. I don't know in the evening um, or in the abdomen, for that matter. There you go. Um, intensive care unit is all is all pretty much sound. No, there's, there, there really isn't. The general surgery is all pretty good. We need a USG tech. Uh, technologist that operates examination and treatment of, of, with ultrasound. So we need an ultrasound room. Um, okay, right. Well, I've got I've got the space for it. I just don't have the cash. That's the, uh, that's the long and the short of it. Right, let's up the tempo and see if... Uh, well, firstly, let's see if anyone could be bothered to clean this lot up. Um... Now, as far as my cleaners are concerned, once they've finished their, their assigned corridors, they should then move into uh, into any corridor anywhere. It's like they're just deliberately avoiding it. Oh no, Gov, wrong wrong type of mop. Can't uh, can't do that with the uh, with this kind of mop. Or or maybe they're saying, no, no, this needs Tyrone. Uh, we need uh, we need a specialist uh, to mop this up. Uh, we're not good enough. This is my wall of staff coming in. I oh, see now. No, hold on. Still no action at the current time. She's still there. Oh, are we still out in the still bleeding to death in the car park? I think she's she's possibly had enough by now, you know. Where have you gone? Have you gone to high dependency? We've managed to free up a bed in high dependency. Okay. Good. And we finally got our hospital patient in. All right. Okay. Well, that could have been better. Um but uh, but now that we're staffed up, it's it's all go. Basically, people don't get sick at night, because um, uh, I'll do nothing for you uh, during that period. Uh, all of me uh, all of me nurses here are taking a, a simultaneous break so they can talk about kites. Uh, well, I can't say I blame them. Kites are kites are magnificent when uh, when properly applied. You just paid me fifteen hundred quid. Hope you feel worse in the future, given that you've got a healthy bank balance. Um, that's not bad, Ashley. I'm up 11 grand by 9 a.m. Fantastic. I and mean, keeping him in overnight certainly seems to uh, seems to bring in the Benjamins. Um, so that's all good. Now then, what am I going to do here? What's the what's the situation? I need to do a bit of measuring. Uh, as much as uh, as I'm quite happily uh, just chatting away about you know what's going on in the in the joint. Uh, 
What we need to figure out is whether I can get three in a row. And I don't think I can. This is slightly too small. I think we need one more, maybe. Or do we? You are possibly, probably, yes. I think we don't, we're going to need one more row in order to be able to, to bunkhouse this. Uh, the other alternative would be to go this way. But actually, that doesn't work for me. What I was thinking was extending out down here. Um, okay, all right, okay, fine. So, I want to... So, this is uh, this is intensive care that we've got over here. Um, over here, this is high dependency, which is where I'm, where I'm short on beds at the moment. Um, and then I've got this space here. What the heck am I going to stick in there? I was pretty sure I had a plan, but it is, but it has so far eluded my uh, uh, my tiny little mind, um, and uh, and thus I, I've no idea where shall I put stuff. Uh, the regular ward, I could make this all regular ward and just have hundreds in. Oh, yes, that could work. I mean, it's not the most convenient location. Uh, but that could work quite well. Okay, right. All right plan of action. Uh, what have I got in the bank? 20k. All right, I can make that work. Uh, let's do that. Uh, and then we're going to want access from here as well. So let's do... No, no, leave that up and stick a door in. Right. Now then, uh, chances are I'll, uh, I'll adapt this as we go. Um, because uh, it's this is a this is going to be a work in progress for a minute or two, and then uh, and then we'll see what we uh, see what we figure out coming out the other end. Uh, right, white tiles is that what we've been using? It is. Doesn't that feel a bit severe? Yeah. All right, let's go white and white. Oh yes, tray chic. Um, right. Okay, and then you've got a corridor here, and a corridor at the bottom as well. So double corridors. Uh, two uh, two means of uh, ingress and egress. Uh, that will work quite well. Also, if we bang a door in there, oh, I'm liking this. Um, and even better, I'm leaving these windows in. Uh, that way, uh, while you're waiting for your operation, you can see people uh, that are already having an operation and be suitably reassured. Kind of go, oh, that's a bit graphic. Um, kind of go, no, no, that's all fine. It's their uh, their trained personnel. So, at the moment, I would have to secure that bit off to be intensive care. Maybe this is intensive care and, and high dependency in one. No. Don't like it. Well, what are you going to do as far as high dependency is concerned? Second ward. Oh, okay, that's bold. We are, we are currently rocking no high dependency um, requirement, though. No, I, I'm thinking of moving this one. Yeah, and then moving this one here, uh, or this one. Yeah, no, no, that, actually that makes more sense. Move move intensive care down to here. Um, and I don't know. No, you've got a bit confused. You, I mean, you've got a good shape going on here, but you, what you don't have is, um, uh, is, is, a, is, the, is a sound plan. And... Uh, you know, the, the clock's ticking there, doofus. Uh, so, uh, so what are you going to do? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy. I'm going to buy a couple of beds. Uh, in fact, let's not. Let's. Uh, no, hold on. We've got some spares. We've got two spares in there at the moment, and a whole bunch of headless people. Well, it's just no wonder they're in hospital. Um, no, we're going to need some more beds anyway. So let's buy them. Uh, one, two, three, four. Right. Let's see what we can do with these. So if I was to go like that, and then like this, you need a foot, a, a gap for the for the foot of the bed so people can get past, and then you'd have a wall, right? Same deal. Uh, one, two, like that. Okay, and then on this one, one, two, perfect. All right. Okay, cool. This is uh, this is going to work uh, absolutely fantastically. Um, it's going to be even more um, uh, militaristic in tone uh, than the last one was, but we'll start out down here. Now, admittedly, this is a very long way uh, for people to have to travel. Um, that's it. And go like that. 
and then like that. Right, move it over one. You, come in, that way. That's it, you, that way. Right, because we'll get this right once, and then uh, and then we'll use this as a, uh, as a model for future expansion, one, two. There you go, and you've got a nice gap down the middle, uh, which, uh, which should make everything work in a, in a fairly hunky-dory fashion. Uh, let's put up the, uh, I'm going to call it the privacy wall, uh, whereas in fact it's, it's literally just to, uh, just to segregate people and get more plug sockets on the, uh, on the, uh, on the, on the paraphernalia. Um, right, okay, now then. I could turn this into a temporary high, def uh, high definition. Yeah, sure, a high definition unit I could turn this into for a, for a short time. Um, I'm not going to. Right. Is that why? Why won't you dangle there? There you go. That's it. You dangle there. You do that. There you go. And then, if you're lucky enough to be in the middle, uh, then you can have a nice chat with uh, whoever and their gammy leg is uh, is opposite you, uh, which is which is charming. Um, right. You need a bedside cabinet type deal. Chamfer, uh, which will probably live in here somewhere. Where are we? Now, the reason it's not giving me um, specific to the environment here is because uh, I haven't uh, I haven't actually just said what type type I haven't said what type of room it is. Um, so uh, so that's why it's uh, why it's giving me the Evo on that front. We could also stick a door in there, and that will make for a, a rapid uh, egress uh, ingress rather into the uh, 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 into intensive care. Which is quite an efficient way to to uh, to work, I think. Yeah, yeah, that'll that'll work. We could probably get another bed in there as well, you know. Right. Okay. So how about how about you stop procrastinating, and you actually declare what this room is? Uh, it's a ward. Good. Regular. Fine. All of this is regular ward. I think. Let's take it as far as these double doors here. And like that 15 by 10 uh, okay so at the moment we've got a capacity of uh, how many or however many we've got in here wasn't it 11 11 we've got in there we'll get 12 at least one would hope um, right okay so keep it rolling now it's not like those beds are gonna go to waste I hope uh, right bedside cabinet uh, one for you one for you you have one as well go on there you are that's it you get one too Perfect. What else do you need? We don't, we just need a defib on the wall, and then we're uh, we're gorgeous. Uh, okay. Well, there you are. Be gorgeous. Uh, let's change up the wall here as well, since it's now an interior wall. We might as well make it wipe clean rather than brick, which could possibly uh, possibly contain all manner of bacterium, uh, which would cause people undue uh, concern. Uh, right, no, that really is it. That 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 is definitely all I need in order to make this operational. Right, let's uh, let's get this over here. I uh, hope you're friendly. Uh, right, get yourself a one of these and a one of those as well, and then we'll just keep moving beds over as they become vacant uh, until this area of the uh, of the hospital fills out. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'm even going to put some flooring in in just a moment uh, to make people all the happier with their with their lot in life. All right, anyone else empty at the moment? Nobody else is empty at the moment. Uh, right, bit of carpet or some such. Uh, tile. Now then, what colour really fits the mood in here? What about this this peach kind of a kind of a notion? Right, well we'll peach it round the outside. Oh, look at that! Oh, isn't that? Oh, isn't it super? Doesn't it make you feel better already? Doesn't it make you feel like you're, you're in some kind of medical institution? Uh, right, then we'll do one with a stripe around the inside of that. Oh, lovely. Oh, isn't it? Isn't it just wonderful? Oh, I, I feel like uh, like we're doing, uh, we're doing the finest work imaginable. And uh, then we'll do another one here. Do 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 because obviously making people well again that's just that's not important as long as your floor looks nice uh everything else can go whistle um right and do the same again yeah this is gonna this is gonna fox the patients like uh, like nobody's business i 
Better be calling them patients. There's, there's a thing. There you go. Just like that. Marvellous. Uh, right, and then we'll bang in some uh, some filler tile here, and that'll all look groovy. Now, obviously, the geometric, uh, well, I mean, it's a, it's a five-year-old's geometric pattern, but it's a geometric pattern nonetheless, you cheeky blighter. Um, actually, I, I don't like that. Oh, I think we might go with this. Oh, aggressive. I think so, too. Um, yeah, now, you know, obviously, this has absolutely no bearing on uh, on what we're actually uh, laying out wall-wise and stuff. What would be even cooler, really, are you... You are about to do it, aren't you? Yeah, I think I might be. All right, so that looks quite nice. Okay, looks like a nice big Persian rug, um, but I've changed my mind. How much is that going to cost to change your, change your mind there? Two grand. How much do you want to change your mind? Not that much. Change your mind later. Okay, all right, okay. Go on, back to work. There we go. Right, beds up. Different colours. No, that won't do. Uh, right, click on here, click on this. Uh, let's have something that will, will match the floor. I'm going to say this brown is probably closest. Everyone wants brown sheets. I'm not going to tell you why brown is a particularly convenient colour for a hospital. I'm sure you can use your own uh, uh, your own imagination on that front. All right, there you go. Do I need to assign anyone to this? I think it just uses on-call staff, doesn't it? Uh, let's have a look. Yep, just on call staff. That's fine. I've got staff. They are on call. Um, and probably my, my shrewdest spending of money at the moment would be to staff up at night uh, so that if we have another hospital ba uh, ambulance based incident where someone comes in and can't be seen, um, that, uh, uh, that we've got people around to actually uh, alleviate the, the flow of passengers. Okay, they're using this this little quadrant here. That's working out reasonably well. I wonder if I should move the operating table out where uh, HDU is at the moment. Uh, given that it's not used very often, uh, that way they can take it up to there. Whereas high dependency is likely to be used on a on a regular basis. So I could expand the room out uh, by by building the wall out to here potentially get a couple more well definitely get a couple more beds in this feels like a smart move uh, it looks like we've got some empties we've got an empty all right well it's, that's better than none uh brown please thank you that's it get them get them all out uh this see this is the way to transition a room not the way that i've done it in the past no you you have your new room set up it's like uh, it's like getting a new job uh don't uh, leave your old job until your new one's ready for you uh, right, there we go. How's that look? That looks, that looks a little better. Look, either get back in bed or get out of my hospital. Uh, or, sorry, pay up and get out of my hospital. Um, I'll, I'll even move the... Uh, I've obviously got a game, uh, an Xbox or something under there. Uh, we'll, we'll shift that once, uh, once we bring the new facility fully up to ramming speed. Uh, what's this? Patient can't be treated. Which problem? You've got shockwave lithotripsy. Oh, bum. Uh, right, what have we got on here? Available treatment. Oh, you see what you did there was you clicked your available treatment over into... Oh, well, never mind. Um, yeah, we could just hospitalise him. Go on, bang him in, bang him in HDU and, and uh, at least that way we'll get some cash out of him. Um, yeah, so see, I'll, I'll take that money even if we can't cure him. How are we doing here? No, it's still, still fully occupied. And not enough sofas. Evidently, I'm going to need a going to need another sofa or two in there, um, but that's that's not so good. Uh, Captain Mop to uh, to surgery, please. Who's this? It's Judy Broom. Well, she's studying under Tyrone, and therefore she should be pretty quick at this. Speaking of which, where is Tyrone? And ha we still haven't cleaned up that corridor. This is on your watch, pal. Yeah, you frisbee. Oi. This is uh, this is your problem, uh, right? Give me the, the the that. No, it's not an emergency corridor. It's not a radiography corridor. It's not a uh, it's not a waiting room. It's not anything. Oh, maybe it needs telling to be a corridor. Well, yeah, maybe. Well, look, tell it to be a corridor, and then maybe someone will clean it. 
Ah, okay, but I, I mean, I've still got to pay to turn it into a... Shut up and just do it. Right, okay, there you go. All right, and we'll, we'll do this bit at the same time. Okay, good. All right, and then we'll do this bit at the same time. All right, there you go. Now then, now that you've turned that into a corridor, someone should be along quick smart. Quick smart. It, the patients are going to be somewhat disconcerted at the amount of blood in this hospital that is not stored in a fridge of some description. Uh, I, I know I certainly would, but don't leave that. You'll leave tire marks all over the place. All right, wiggle them in there, wiggle them back out again. What's wrong with you then? Leg contusion and a spiral fracture of the tibia are the two things that it could be. That one sounds preferable to this one. Going to be up. Yeah, you've got a bruise on your leg. You haven't broken anything. Ah, we've got some. Uh, we've got some inhabitants in uh, in hospital wing two. That's good. Any of these empty? No, nah, of course not. I'm not prepared to close it down and boot them out. I want them all to pay up. Uh, we need the money. Um, I mean, that's that might sound a little uh, a little mercenary, uh, but uh, I'm not running a charity here, people. And, uh, and we don't get any money from the government just to stay open. Uh, therefore, we have to be ruthless about such things. Get sick, get your flipping checkbook out. That's, uh, that's how we operate. Um, oh, come on. Someone clear out these passengers. They are taking far too long in here. Someone's under the knife. What's going on here? You've got an esoph uh, esoph esophageal var varices. That does not sound good. Uh, jaundice, uh, purpura. I don't know what's going on with my, my uh, pronunciation today. Uh, your doctor is Frank Lawsuit. <laughs> good show. Um, well, I'm, I'm, I'm glad uh, that, uh, that Frank is on hand to help you out. Why are you moving at a fair lick? Are you busy? That, was, that seemed to be done with a reasonable amount of urgence. Um, uh, you've got an exocrine pancreatic insufficiency. My sympathies to uh, to you and your uh, your nearest and dearest. That that doesn't sound like a chuckle. Oh, hold on. Have we got empties? No, they're off flipping, swanning about and raiding the snack machine. Look, I've got big plans here, people. Well, what? Because what's going to happen is I'm going to clear this room out and I'll use that for a bit of storage. Uh, I'm going to move uh, high dependency. Maybe I'll start doing that a bit. Hold on, ICU could be moved right now. And I do want ICU in a central location. No, I'm going to put here. I'm going to put ICU in here, and then uh, high dependency in this one, or the other way around. I think high dependency needs more beds, given that all of ICU is empty. Hold everything. All of ICU is empty. Right? How big's that? Bigger than this, by the looks of it, because this could be a straight switch, and that would be a good thing. Uh, right? Talk to me. How big are you? Uh, seven, yeah, by seven. All right, and you, ten, oh, by eight. So what you're telling me is it might work, but it's going to be a bit of a squeeze, and you certainly aren't going to be expanding it anytime soon. All right, well, let's stick one in and uh, and see if there's uh, there's room for expansion. Where do you need to go? You need to go in there. Really? It was on the other side in the uh, in the other room. Why are you now? Why are you now fighting me here? Sling that in there. Grab the grab the doodah. It says it wants to go there, so so do so. But that's the other side of the bed to when we had it in the other room. It's also the other side of the bed. To, oh, it's because you haven't got the room assigned. Um, okay. Well, I I don't necessarily want to make this an intensive care unit, um, but. Uh, We'll do it just so that I can make this work. Right, move it back over there. Grab the grab the thing off the wall. Grab the thing off the wall. Sling it in where it belongs. There you go. Uh, now grab the uh, portable ventilator and uh, the machine that goes ping and uh, and your plug socket with your sippy cup. Right, we've got one in there now. Uh, yeah, where I think we're going to come unstuck is it also requires a reasonably significant number of pieces of equipment. So maybe if I were to... There's the wall, so stick that in there. Because I think we might get three along this back edge. 
Actually, I think that might be pushing it a bit. Well, you won't know until you try, will you? All right, just just sling that on there for the moment. We want the bed. There you go. <clears throat> right. No, wait, no, he needs more room. No, hold on, wait, no, yes, and there. Okay, fine. Uh, and actually, we've got a spare wall, so we might be able to stick this on the wall, probably there. Yeah, I think this might work. Okay, cool. Uh, right, bang that in there. The other one's got one already. Grab this doodah off here, sling it on that. Uh, what's this, the other machine that goes ping? Okay, good. What else are you thinking? I'm not at the moment. Uh, thinking is uh, is highly overrated. You know, bang that in, bang this in. Basically anything that can go bang, bang it in. Yep. There you go. You've, it, that one now has missing equipment. I have switched. We have a new primary. Why have I got a plug socket? Where did I just nick that from? Oh, okay. Some of some of the beds I, I gave plug sockets to. Well, that was jolly decent of me, wasn't it? Um, right. Tell you what. There you go. Have a, have a plug socket so you can plug your Walkman in while you're in a coma, because uh, that makes that makes plenty of sense. Uh, right. Get that out of here as well. Bang that on there. That's it. There you go. Now then, because what I was thinking was I could possibly make that work if I stick in a wall. You know how I'm fond of currently sticking walls in all over the joint. Um, so if we, uh, yeah, if we if we sling a wall in here, although it's gonna, uh, there's not really enough room. All right, we well could spin that one round, right, and then maybe get one against the wall there. I like the way you've put a question mark at the end of that, like you're not certain. Well, I, I, I don't know how you guessed. I, I really am not certain. But I would quite like to get at least the same number of beds that I've currently got in the new one. Because uh, it's not like we're we're overburdened with, uh, uh, with ICU beds at the present time. Uh, we have about as many as is appropriate, but occasionally we run a bit short. None of this is good. None of this is good. We're going to have to move stuff. Ah, fooey. Well, the good news is I could kill this corridor because that's just dead space. Um, although we were using it for trolley storage. So, you know, it, it's not completely dead space. Um, and then, actually, this looks like it's going to fit. I mean, it's going to fit ugly, uh, but it is going to fit. And then we just need to stick that somewhere. Well, that's, that's probably the best place for it. Okay, good. That's it. Have we emptied that out? We have emptied that out. Right, okay, dezone it. Uh, dezone it. There we go. Uh, right, and then we've still... No, hold on. ICU is not currently operational. What's missing? What don't you have? You haven't got a faint USG. Uh, a big pardon, fast USG. Well, where'd it go? I flipping bought one. I, in fact, I've bought one twice now. All right, pro tip... Every time you move your ICU, your USG goes walkabout. I don't know who it is nicks it, but somebody does. Uh, and uh, that leaves you eight grand out of pocket. So uh, so try to avoid messing around with your with your intensive care unit unless you absolutely have to. Right, there we go. Let's, uh, let's whiz this. For this this it's, it's not well designed, this. Just so you're aware. Uh, it might work a little bit better, actually, if I were to switch this bed here with some of this equipment. Um, then the trolleys would get in a little bit easier. But to be honest, I reckon they'll get in anyway. How's the blood st situation? Nope. Well, we started the episode with blood all over the floor. We've ended the episode with the same blood all over the floor. Uh, perhaps we live with it now. That's, that's now a feature. We're going to declare that it's some kind of uh, Jackson Pollock. Oh, no, it's been cleaned. And that's the show, people. That's it. We're done. Uh, I've been Colonel Failure. Thank you very much for watching. I'm out of cash. That's a pain. Um, uh, more development will occur, uh, as, I'm, as I'm sure you've come to expect. Uh, flipping Nora, we've filled up the new one already. We, we've now got both sections of the ward uh, filled. Uh, so clearly, the, uh, the super ward idea was the right one. Come back soon and uh, and watch further developments. Um, subscribe to make sure that you're able to do so with relative ease. And, uh, and hit the like button if you enjoyed this one. 
and, uh, and I'll catch up with you very soon. Thanks for watching. Cheerio. So here's the scheme. Here's the plan. What I'm going to do is I'm going to continue adding beds until I've got a lot of beds. Yes. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy another ambulance until I've got more than one ambulance, maybe even more than two ambulances. Uh, then we're going to upgrade the uh, trauma center so that uh, so there's enough room in there to handle quite a lot of trauma all at once. And all of this should result in a uh, in a healthy income uh, that is going to mean that future expansion can be uh, can be very very profitable indeed. That's the scheme. That's the notion. And uh, you're going to need to stick around to watch that happen. Anyway, I've left a video over there for you to go and watch. Why don't you go and watch it? Go on.